Hey everybody, it's Trevor Ursulescu, owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. So last night we raced at the Martinville Motor Speedway in uh, the 50s for the Virginia 500. And um, I had to redo the track layout from what you're used to. So I got rid of all the embanked corners and put them as flat, straight corners. So let's check out the racetrack. And um, unfortunately last night my my camera batteries ran out so I only got a sort of half of a race but at any rate I had to spend the rest of the night charging the batteries so I didn't get any um, retakes so it's gonna be a short video but what you'll see is what you get so here we are at the speedway and I've moved the location of the spectators just behind the uh, the buttons of the the console because when we had the high banks, they were sitting over there where the clock is, and they kept getting hit. So I wanted to um, make it a little safer for them. But they didn't actually get hit last night. They're all all right there in their, the same position. So where I put them. So that's pretty good. Anyway, so here is our speedway. So it's still got the 11 straights in there. But now, as you can see, these are flat radius curves. They are the 4-15 and the 3-30s. And I'll tell you, it got pretty crazy. Lots of cars go airborne. Even in that first little bit that I showed, or that I'll show you, you can tell craziness happened. We had a, a support post break right in here. Had to replace that because guys were riding the rails pretty hard and they actually broke it. It happens. This plastic stuff isn't as good as the older rubber guardrails. So I got the uh, dual crosses in here. You didn't have too many problems with them except there's some kind of problem in here. It may be the table heights, I don't know. But it's causing a bit of a bump in there. So guys are sort of going airborne and hitting things. This doesn't seem to want to come together properly. I don't know what's going on. And we got a couple little cracks here that, again, you try to put them together and they squeeze apart. Or push apart. Whatever. But anyway, all in all, it was pretty good. Oh, looks like they broke one of the rubber rail brackets too. These are hard to get now. You guys. Anyway. This rubber rail is a lot better than the plastic stuff. The only thing that break are the uh, supports. But as far as the rail cracking itself, unlike the newer plastic stuff, it, it can uh, wear out and break. I put a double cross into here on this side, just to um, allow people to switch around, and, and it worked pretty well. So, yeah. Now, I'll show you some of the race, and then I'm going to show you how brutal it was to my car last night. And then we'll go to the scoreboard. So enjoy. Okay. All right. So here we are at Martinville Speedway with flat curves, not embanked. So this should be fun. Wow, that was strangely effective. This is uh. going actually quite slow. This represents the. Oh, you lucky guy. Oh, Mark. Get that dick aboard. <laughs> so this represents a Virginia 500 from back in the day. And we've got our crosses here. Oh, not the dick aboard. Oh, no, no. Oh. Good try. Oh. Everyone's discovering how deadly the track is here. Your bumper came off there, Brett. 
We got four guys in the outer lane. Down to three. Josh wipes out here. I'm waiting for an accident. Sorry. I have to slow down to help a friend. Oh, there's Mark. Knocked right up. Help your fellow teammate. Uh, oh. Sorry, Mark. Oh, works right off the table. <laughs> so I got the black guard rail. Uh oh. Uh oh. Good shot, Dale. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, there you go, Mike. Pile up. Yeah. Oh, where's mine? Oh. oh my gosh, I nearly had an accident. <laughs> oh my gosh. How bad I Let's go down to the ground level. There we go. Oh. Holy Samarilla pills! <laughs> oh. See you now, boy! Pretty <laughs> deadly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so here we are on the workbench. <coughs> so here we are on the workbench, and I've got my 57 Ford. Now you may think that, oh, he took the body off, that's interesting. But actually, I had to take it off because my little towers, they finally gave up. The, um, they're a little wider than the actual screw threads. So, there's one of the screws. So what happens is, it'll barely hold on the edges of the thread. Oh, I just broke the steering wheel. They'll barely hold on the edges of the thread, so what happened is uh, they pulled through the body when the car hit the ground, and then my two rear mounting tubes, they broke off. So what I did is I took some shavings and I stuck them into the hole. I don't know if you can see it. And then uh, my screws were able to finally get some grip, which is good. There's the undercarriage. I took the uh, Richard Petty car and cut off the back there and then mounted it underneath. There's my support tubes. I had to break one. <laughs> I used crazy glue in there and then I screwed the screw in and it got stuck in the crazy glue. So that wasn't very good. But you'll notice now the car no longer has bumpers. It's because the guys hit them hard and when it hit the ground they broke off on the mounting pins. This is sort of the problem with the Ravel, doing the conversion. When Ravel built this kit back in 19-whatever, 70-something or other, they built it as a shelf-only model, so it was never meant to take this type of uh, racing. So the problem is that this grill is only attached underneath the two headlights, and this bumper is only attached on three little teeny pins. So what I'm going to do is reinforce underneath with more plastic up in the front and where those square holes are on the back, that's where the bumper went in. So I'm going to have to actually get some strips of styrene and glue them in behind the bumper so that the bumper actually has more of a wall to attach itself to, if that makes any sense. So yeah, that's the kind of brutality that these cars are going around on the oval. Even though we're we're trying desperately not to go that fast, they still get hit. So anyway, let's move on to our scoreboard. So here we have the scores for last night. The only person that actually made this work was Kevin. I don't know what type of tactic he used on it, but yeah, he... He never got hit. He was in first the whole night, and uh, yeah, it was awesome. So I ended up the night at 18. I mean, look at this 36, 32, 38, 18. <laughs> so I really went down. 
Matt got 29, Devin got 21, and Mark got 21, so they tied. Kevin at 54, because he aced every race. We did uh, 7. Alan wasn't here. So, 7 times 9, 54. Fred got 16. Alan did not show. And Josh got 16. So we had two ties last night. Fred and Josh, and Mark and Devin. So now when we get to our rankings, I got 124 points overall, so I'm in fourth. Matt is 135 at third, took my spot. Devin at 123 for fifth. Mark at 112 for sixth place. Kevin, 198 for first. Fred at 104 for eighth place. Alan, even though he wasn't here, he's still holding 168 second place. And Josh at 108 for 7. So, very good, guys. We still have five more races to go. The International 200, the World 600, the Firecracker 250, the Nashville 500, and the Old Dominion 500. And one of these goes back to Daytona. And this time I'm going to build Daytona the right way. Because <laughs> I goofed it. Um, initially. And it's going to be interesting because... Start finish gate is on a high bank curve, so I don't know how I'm going to support all that. Anyway, we'll figure it out. So, thank you once again for tuning in, and now I've got to go fix my Ford <laughs> and get ready for the next race. But now that I know where the problems are, I can easily get it so that the body will mount properly. Um, so, anyway. This is Thursday, it's my birthday, so happy birthday to myself, from myself, and everybody else that wants to wish me a happy birthday, May 26th. So I am 40 plus GST, so that makes 42. Born 1974, back in the grooviest year in human history. Look it up, you'll see the hairstyles and everything. Groovy. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, um... So tonight we are going to be playing Warhammer Age of Sigmar, which is a fantasy-based game using tabletop miniatures by the Games Workshop. You can always look that up at their website. I think it's www.games-workshop.com. Anyway, uh, we will see you for next week.